Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Generation Change, the show that talks about diversity and generational issues. I'm Roya Fami. Today we continue with part two of our study and discussion on the unemployment situation and how it influences each individual in their job search. We looked at the topics of race, culture, economy, and the technological divide. Approximately one year ago, President Barack Obama came to Scranton to promote his jobs care bill entitled the Middle Class Tax Relief and Jobs Creation Bill of 2011. At that time, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the unemployment rate in the United States hovered just above 9%. As of today, according to the same organization, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the unemployment rate as of August 2012 is 8.1 percent. President Obama's jobs care bill proposes two out of multiple things. Number one, an assessment of the skills of each individual. And number two, individual and group career counseling. Those two things take into effect what we are discussing in our series on unemployment. The Republican response immediately was to block the jobs care bill in the summer of 2011. They blocked it in Congress. Today, presidential candidate Mitt Romney has yet to propose a detailed plan for jobs creation. We are looking forward to hearing from him. We had the opportunity to attend President Obama's speech and we interviewed multiple people. We spoke to people on the local, national, and international levels. Let's roll that videotape. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Roy Afami and welcome to Generation Change. Today is November 30th of 2011 and I am standing in front of Scranton High School in Scranton, Pennsylvania. We are eagerly awaiting the arrival of President Barack Obama. President Barack Obama is due today to speak to a 1,000 and more person crowd about two topics, jobs unemployment and payroll taxes. I think the crowd here, especially in northeastern Pennsylvania, is extremely concerned. The joblessness rate for the U.S. is at a solid 9.0 percent, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and scranton Wilkesbury in September of 2011 was recorded at a solid 8.8 percent in September of 2011. I am sure people here will have a lot of questions and concerns for President Obama. Air Force One just flew over here approximately 20 minutes ago. The president is due to arrive any minute now. He is due to start speaking between 2.45 p.m. and 3 p.m. Thank you, and this is Roy Afami for Generation Change. I have here with me two students from the University of Scranton, Carmen and Elena. Carmen and Elena are originally from Spain. They are uh, understanding of the fact that President Obama is here to speak about unemployment, jobs, uh, and payroll taxes. And I'll be asking them a couple questions. Um, Carmen, um, it's important that you, as a 22-year-old, are looking toward your future for, for employment, excuse me, for, an em for employment. Do you see the employment picture better for you here in the United States or Spain? Nowadays, here in the United States, in Spain, it's very bad right now. What is the employment percentage, unemployment rate percentage in Spain right now? Spain is 20 percent. Oh my goodness, Spain is 20 percent unemployment. Again, as I had said before, we are at the United States at 9.0 percent, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics today, November 30th, 2011. Elena, what field do you see yourself going into and do you also see yourself uh, in the United States staying for your field? 
Well, in Spain now, uh, working is very difficult, so I think I could um, work in other parts of the world, maybe United States or whatever. I have to work anywhere. So, you know. What is your field, Elena? What would you like to go into? Um, well, I'm, I study law, so I would like to, <laughs> to be a lawyer. So, Elena, as an attorney, you can see yourself really anywhere in the world except for Spain, is that correct? Well, uh, we have the opportunity to work for European Union, so mm -hmm. I think I'm going to apply for a job there. Okay. So the European Union, you can see yourself there, okay. And what is your field, Carmen? It is the same, I'm studying the same as her, so I, pro I will probably do the same because I would like to work here, but I cannot because law is different from here than from Spain. So probably the Euro European Union should be there. Tell me what your generation, your 20-somethings in Spain, what do they think of President Obama? I think they support him. We in Spain, we live it like it is a change for the for United States and it was a really change in all the government. So we, I think all my generation support him. Nowadays, maybe we are all lost because of the crisis, all the presidents are not that has that popularity, mm -hmm. but I think we support him. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I think it's going to. Th there are hard times now, so it's really difficult to to things come out. But I support Obama. Okay, and one last question: How do you find the people of northeastern Pennsylvania and Scranton? Do you find them warm and interested in you? Yes, they are. They, we, I really love being here. Yeah. It's different from Spain, and they are so warm with us. They uh, has a lot of th good things to tell us and to show us, and we are learning a lot here. They have helped us with many things, so they are very kind. I'm here with a young family from Scranton, Pennsylvania, Alex, Stephen, and their son, Emerson. Hello, Mr. Emerson. Would you like to say anything? No. No? <laughs> okay, no works for me. That definitely works for me. Okay. Um, Alex, what I'd like to know is, do you know, do you know what President Obama is here to talk about today? Um, I know that he's here to talk about the jobs bill. And um, I just really wanted to come out to have my son have the opportunity to see a president. We were here to see Bill Clinton when he came. So this will be a second time seeing the president of the United States. Great. So. Great. Excellent. Stephen, do you know that the current unemployment rate for the United States, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, is 9% today, and that we here in northeastern Pennsylvania are pretty much matching them at 9%. Yes. Um, how has that affected you as a young family? Are you in a, in a field where you both have been able to stay employed or has it affected you? We both have jobs but it kind of limits us where we kind of have to stay where we are even if we're not entirely happy. There's not many new opportunities out there. There's a lot of empty storefronts. It'd be nice if we could fill them and get people working in them but it is, it is a tough time in this area. Right, and uh, also one of the things we know is that he may be talking about payroll taxes, which he did in Manchester, New Hampshire last week, which would mean any family making approximately $50,000 would pay $1,000 more in taxes. How do you guys feel, feel about that? You're a hardworking young family with a young child. That is, is that going to cut into your budget and lifestyle? Well, I just don't think that it's appropriate to be taxing millions when you could tax thousands instead and mm -hmm. you know get rid of the bush tax cuts so okay. excellent excellent you're a very well informed young family I thank you so much for being here Emerson thank you sir thank you very good job would you like to say anything else no no <laughs> no is is completely age appropriate thank you sir okay thank you everybody and good luck you should probably get in line and this is Roy Afami for Generation Change we love him here in Scranton. He spent his early years here in Scranton. This town helped make him who he is. This, this is a town where he and so many of you are raising your taxes, but not very good when it comes to raising taxes for wealthy people. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I, I hope that they don't want to just score political points. I hope that they want to help people. <laughs> This, this cannot be about who wins and loses in Washington. This is about delivering a win for the American people.
That was an uplifting day for generation change. The college students from Spain are dealing with such a high unemployment rate that America still seems like the land of opportunity for them. And that young family I interviewed, there could still be great hope for their son. Coming up after the break, John Baldino comes on our set to talk about the job search in the digital age. Stay tuned.